All right, how's everyone doing today? So uh, about a week ago, I posted a video using Ferrari's configurator, showing you guys kind of how I would spec out like an ideal SF90 Spider. Um, so Lamborghini uh, on their website, if you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description, but they actually have a really good configurator on their website as well. So what I wanted to do, show you guys how I would spec out like an ideal Huracan, uh, specifically a Huracan Evo. So here's the website. It'll kind of show you all of the current um, Huracan models that they have. There's the Technica, the STO, which is really cool. Maybe I'll do that for a future video. They have the Huracan Evo Coupe, the Evo Spider here, um, Evo Rear Wheel Drive Coupe, and then the Evo Rear Wheel Drive Spider. So personally, my favorite one is the Evo Coupe. So we'll go and jump right into it here. So they start you off with like basically a blank slate. Um, this is the base offer, standard white, basic rims, white on black. Like we're gonna make some tweaks to this. So let's get right into it here. All right, so paint color. I've actually walked through this before I recorded. So my personal favorite uh, Lamborghini color is actually this balloon white. So I've seen this before. Um, on an Aventador before and it looks really good in person. It's like not a bright, bright white. It's kind of has some silver undertones. Looks really nice. So rims, we have a couple different options. So this first one I want to show you guys, uh, Loge, Logi, I'm not sure <laughs> how to pronounce that, but you can also get these. I've seen these rims um, on a Performante. Not my personal choice if I was going to spec out a Huracan. I would go with these Narvi 20 inch forged shiny black rims. Um, and I've also seen these on a Performante Huracan as well. They look really good. Um, brake caliper color. I, I like to make the brake calipers pop. I think on a Lamborghini you should stand out a little bit. And I think this royal blue, they just call it blue, but the blue uh, brake caliper. CCB brake calipers look really solid and you will get to it in a bit. You'll see kind of how I'll tie all of that in um, and that'll match the uh, interior in a bit. Um, so it is an option to get a transparent engine bonnet. Bonnet? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but personally I do think that looks better than having it all covered. So we'll go with that. Um, so here we go. We'll look at some options here. The rear diffuser, um, so let's go change the view. So we can either leave it colored in balloon white or change it to like a matte black or like a gloss black. Personally, when I see an Evo, I think it looks really good when it's color matched, so we'll leave that there. Style pack, not sure what this means. Oh, I think this is changing like accents to uh, either body color or uh, a gloss black. So let's see how this looks. Give me one second. So we can go with a body color here. That actually looks pretty sweet. So as you can see, it kind of changes this rear lip here, um, the side skirt to that balloon white, or we can kind of have no, that's the thing. I don't want the rear diffuser to be black. So let's go with um, the style package in body color. I think that looks really solid. There we go. All right, so next we'll jump in to the interior. All right, color and trim. So personally, I think this Evo trim, Sportivo leather, Bicolor looks super solid, and uh, just to tie everything, wow, that looks pretty sweet. Just to tie everything into the blue uh, brake calipers, we're gonna go with this blue Amon color, and then also I think the inverted stitching looks really cool. So you can see like on the dashboard, um, like around here, it'll have the inverted stitching floor mats let's see here floor mats with leather piping and double stitching we'll tie those in with the color 
with that blue color on the floor mats. I think that'll look cool. Yeah, that looks pretty neat. All right, steering wheel. <clears throat> Let's see, you can get suede leather inserts or the whole steering wheel in Alcantara. Not the biggest fan of Alcantara. Um, let's see here. Blue I'm on. So this is the same color that we did on the seats and the stitching, obviously. Let's see if this will look good on the steering wheel. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So it'll have that blue color matching everything. Um, we'll go with that. So here's where we can actually change the seats. So let's see what these sport seats look like. Yeah, with the Huracan Evo logo right there, I think that looks really cool. Um, embroidered Lamborghini shield on the headrest. Yeah, that looks awesome, and it's also in blue. You can see it right there. Um, seat belts. Let's see if we can get like a blue seat belt. They don't have the exact color, then I wouldn't do it. I'll just leave them black. Um, yeah, we'll just leave the seat belts black. <clears throat> All right. So here is where we can kind of change the basically like the metal components in the interior to carbon. I think that would look really nice. <laughs> This is a dark chrome and carbon tool package, or we can just do the full carbon tool package, which is probably what we'll go with. Yeah, that looks sweet. Um, headliner, personally, I don't care. Uh, equipment, so what is this? Lamborghini Sensonum. So it's basically like a sound system. Um, you know what, why not? Let's, let's add the sound system. <laughs> All right, and a fire extinguisher. All right, better to have it than not have it, I guess. <clears throat> Options, all right, cool. So an ambient light package, what is this? Okay, I, th I think that would be kind of cool, kind of have set the mood with some lights on the interior. Cup holder and smoker package, we don't need that. Lifting system with magneto Relogic suspension. I think getting a lift on any of these super low exotics is a must so not sure how much that is but we'll get that lamborghini connected tele uh, telemetry what is this okay so it's basically cameras for like track day uh, we don't need that extra memory for the hard drive here so we can i won't go through all that let's just go over the car now awesome so exterior we'll go through it we went with the shiny balloon white um, 20 inch Narvi forged rims in shiny black, blue CCB calipers, the transparent engine bonnet, style pack in body color, and then the interior I think looks super sweet. We did uh, the Sportivo, Sportivo leather bicolor, so blue I'm on contrasted with Nero, um, blue on black, did the floor mats with the leather piping and double stitching. We did the stitching on the steering wheel, changed the seats to sport seats so they have the logo right there. We got the um, embroidered Lamborghini shield in the headrest. I think that looks really sweet. Black seat belts, dark chrome like accents on the interior with a little bit of carbon bits kind of on the dash. Um, looks like we did add the headliner in Alcantara. I think that looks that would actually look pretty cool. The Lamborghini like upgraded. Lamborghini Sensonum upgraded sound system, and then a fire extinguisher because why not? <laughs> and then a few other options here. I want to take a look at the ex exterior shot. So, three fourth shot right here. I think this thing would look really cool. Um, side profile, rear three fourths. Um, It's kind of like the bird's eye view right here. So let me know what you guys think of this spec. I think this is classy, but not over the top. Could have gone with like a red or a green or orange. I mean, that looks good too, but I wanted to make sure this kind of looks sleek and classy. Um, so let me know what you guys think of this. 
If you liked it, if you think this would look cool as like an actual car out on the streets, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep making these videos. Um, they're fun for me. I like hearing people's opinions on whether, you know, my taste basically is, is, is good. So let me know in the comments what you think. Subscribe. And yep, I'll make another one of these soon. But uh, thanks for watching.